Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and here we like to explore the world of fountain pens, ink, and paper. And today, it's going to be a little bit of fountain pens. And while it is a reoccurrence of this ink on the channel, an ink from the other side of the world that I do really like and want to share with those who maybe are new to the channel. So 2022 was the year of the tiger on the Chinese calendar. And that brought with it the year of the tiger pen BBS pen. And I for one really enjoy the year of the tiger pen. It is unusual. It has some very Chinese design cues, but I think it was well executed and it writes really well. And it introduced a new piston mechanism that has been quite good for pen BBS over the last year. So that had me waiting in anticipation for the year of the rabbit pen for 2020. 23, which just closed out on the Chinese calendar. And in this box, that's exactly what I've got. This is the Pen BBS Year of the Rabbit Pen. This one comes, as you can see, if you're reading your screen closely enough, a medium ground nib. And uh, I'm really kind of curious. I've seen the pictures, of course, because I ordered the pen, right? I wasn't wearing a blindfold. But these things always look a little bit different once you get them in full 3D. So I'm curious to open up this box to see what this pen looks like and to share with you my first impressions and a writing test, what I like and what I don't like, and all the good stuff that we do around here whenever we look at a new fountain pen. So let's give that camera a spin and get into it. And then we come to a simple box that is not their standard box, but is a little bit larger larger and heftier. The lid comes right off and you find that nice card with 2023, a little bit of Chinese knot and tassel there going on and of course the three rabbits in a circle for the year of the rabbit. On the flip side we have the instructions for operating the piston mechanism there in both Chinese and in English. That's always appreciated. Then we come to the pen. The rest of the box is foam and then a little bit of a presentation ribbon down there if you want to put it in that way. Then the pen. Now the 362 here on the plastic slip does correspond to the number of the pen, which in this case is 362 out of 999. This is made, of course, for the year of the rabbit 2023 and Shanghai, where the pen BBS pen is made. Now the pen, let's look at the pen. I mean, we're talking boxes and cards here, but this is really what we're here about. And I've got to say in person, it is as unusual as it was in the photos and then maybe a little bit extra. So let's look at this. This is, again, this is a first impressions review. So there may be things about the design, different design elements that may be familiar to those in the East more than to those of us in the West. And you can comment on that in the comments below about what these different things may mean. It's not an overwrought pen. There's not just a ton of detail. I'm just telling you that just, you know, looking at it, it doesn't overwhelm you with a lot of intricate detail. As for example, the Qin Dynasty from Hong Dian pen does, which is just overwhelming with its attention to detail. I'm looking forward to sharing that pen with you later on. This pen is much simpler than that, but it is as unique in its design for sure. So let's do this like I would normally do it and start up here at the top. We looked at that finial and uh, the information that is there. Then you come to this cap, which is just quite dramatically flared toward the top, but also here toward the trim band. And then the grip is flared yet again. And then we have that metal barrel. In this case, it is the blue. It has kind of a galvanized look to it. I'm not saying that it is galvanized, but that's the look that it has to it. Quite interesting. In its design, the only thing about this is there's no ink window or anything. So being a piston filler, it's going to be pretty impossible to know exactly what you've got in here at any given time. So you'll, you'll have to get used to that if it's a pen you're going to use very often. Overall, it just has certainly a very unique look. I'm not sure uh, that if I had this, say, up against some other pens like we'll have in our size comparison, that it's the one I would pick. But I will say that I do like the blue metal treatment here, I like 
that it is not just a cookie cutter pen. It certainly does not copy anything else that I can imagine except for and there's something going on here that looks like 1950s sci-fi to me in a way. And I'm sure that is not in any way intentional. It's just kind of, you know, my brain looking for things to compare it to. And it may be in part because of the jewel on what is, I think, a clip, but as far as I'm going to treat it, a roll stop. Um, that jewel is interesting. It has an almost opal-esque glow to it that I think is quite interesting. Now from that angle, looks more like you're looking through ice on a lake with some cracks in it or something. Uh, but from the side, it gets that that glow inside when the light hits it just right. Really pretty cool. I, I like that little part of it. I'm not sure what the symbolism here is actually though in terms of the clip overall. And, and I think it actually is meant to be a clip, but uh, it, it's very stiff, very short, and I would say very unusable. So I would just uh, consider that a roll stop. When you take that cap off, it takes two full turns. No big deal because this is not exactly the most everyday carry pin that you're ever going to see. So I don't think that that's necessarily the biggest deal this time. But what you find is that it is threaded at the end of the grip. Not the most common design, but not unheard of at all. And it has its, its merits. It puts the flare at this end of the grip, which is kind of interesting, but it's long enough. I find that ergonomically, let's see here, to be, uh, no, that's fine. I mean, I kind of feel that with my thumb, but not in an annoying or obnoxious way. It's a heavier pen. I think probably, if I remember right, it's 40-something grams. I'll put that in the specifications here in just a little bit. But the weight is centered right where this pen hits my hand, so that's, that's not uncomfortable. I think that actually feels quite nicely balanced. I don't think in any way is this, nope, uh, this doesn't post, and that's a shame. I would prefer that to post, but it doesn't. I mean, not, not even a little bit. So we'll just, we'll set that aside and hope it doesn't roll away. And I don't think it will with that big roll stop on it. Yeah, I think weight balance feels quite nice. We'll see here in the writing test for sure. But that, that feels pretty good that way. The nib is a number six. Again, mine is a medium. There were some calligraphy nibs and fines out there. Uh, but I, I like a medium. And I've got an extra calligraphy nib around here anyway from Pen BBS, So I'm not too worried about that. But I think that looks quite nice. Laser engraved with, again, those three rabbits and 2023. These pins usually come out at the conclusion of the year and not the beginning, so that's why uh, it might feel like you're behind if you're in another part of the world. The good thing is if you want to get this pin but you're not able to get the nib you want, they are the Pin BBS swappable nib unit, so you can rectify that. You could get a gold nib from them, in fact, if you wanted to. No problem whatsoever. Now, as I mentioned, it is a piston filler pen, and it does feature the same piston filling mechanism that is in the year of the Tiger pen. So this one is a demonstrator. I think this would have been cool as a demonstrator, too. And you can see there that mechanism. It works really well. In fact, why don't I just go ahead and do that? Turns very, very easily. Works well. I've had this pen filled a few times since I bought it in. Uh, I've enjoyed writing with it. It's actually a surprisingly nice writing pen, and that mechanism works very, very well. It's the same one that is also in the 495 that came out last year that is such an excellent pen. So if you, if you want the mechanism but you don't care about the year ofs, get yourself a 495. The only difference here is you're not going to be able to see how much ink you've got. You can tell, of course, that that is, again, that same red finished piston mechanism, which is good because it's proven and it's proven to be a good one. Down here by that piston filling knob is a matte gold trim ring. And I do want to say one thing that I'm noticing and looking over this pin, look how nicely fitted the metal barrel is to that plastic grip section. Really nice and smooth transition there. And the same appears to be true down here at the piston filling knob ends. No rattles or anything like that. I'm not hearing anything whatsoever. So it has a nice heft and is nicely constructed. All right, I think a unique pen like this deserves a unique lineup. So first let's put up the 2022 Year of the Tiger pen. Now, deceptively on camera, it looks like this pen is a lot shorter. They're actually just almost the same length with this one. Actually, if you can see the points here on the end being slightly longer 
than that pin, but it is definitely the larger of the two pins overall. It weighs significantly more. It's certainly broader at its widest points. It's a bulkier pin. While we're on unique pins, with a lot of Chinese history, design, and character to them, the Hongdian Qin Dynasty pin. I haven't reviewed that yet, but it is coming soon to a channel near you. Uh, definitely a shorter, but a lot going on. And if I were cross shopping, I would definitely consider this pen as well. And then if you're just really looking for a great pen BBS pen, I'm probably going to recommend almost any of their models in Galaxy Blue. It can be harder to find because it sells out very quickly when they do put out a batch. This is their 489 touchdown version. It's a great pen with an unusual filling mechanism, but if you get the 495, you get this same mechanism that is in both of these and a piston pen and a, just a beautiful material. And it was Pen BBS that got me started in my Galaxy Resin addiction. So you kind of got to be careful with your wallet there looking through Baney's Etsy shop. And here are the pins in their unposted length, which for three out of these four is the only way you're ever really going to be using them. So I'm not even going to bother posting. All right, as I said earlier, I think the pin has a nice balance to it. I think it feels good. You can fill the flare out here at the back of that grip, but it, it's not bothering me. I can see where it might bother some people, but it's not bothering me. So we've got the pin BBS number 548. And this is the year of the rabbit. Medium is the nib that I have here. Round medium is how they would normally refer to that. And that's the same nib I got on my first pin BBS 308. Nice and wet as I would expect it to be. Now their fines tend to be quite dry actually. But uh, medium, I, this looks pretty typical of what you ought to be able to expect. Fine is going to be a lot drier. I've actually, I don't think I've ever used their extra fine, so I, I can't really tell you about that. Riding very smoothly. I like it. All right, I think that's just exactly the way I was hoping this medium would write. Ha, <laughs> did that one twice, didn't I? I lost track. But yeah, I think this pen is writing really nicely. Let's do our speed test and see how that feed and ink flow keeps up. I'm going to go kind of quickly uh, with just very light pressure and see how it does. Of course, this is all real time, so you know how fast the pen is able to keep up. There was this, and I think that might have been a turn for me because I'm not seeing any indication otherwise that it would be the pen. Now one thing I often forget, and I'm kind of curious today, is reverse writing. Let's see how it does. Oh, okay, I'm surprised. You know what? That's a really nice reverse writer. You get a really nice extra fine to extra, extra fine line. And you know what? That. That actually does okay on that test. That That's not bad at all. So overall, what do I think of this pen? Well, I weigh these Year of Special Editions a little bit differently. I don't expect it to uh, float my boat in the same way that I would expect, say, the 489 Touchdown to do, because I would want this pen to be able to stand up to, say, a week of use under normal conditions and to do that well in my 
shirt pocket or my laptop bag or whatever, or in a pin case, of course, but you know what I mean. I would want to be able to carry this and use this. That's my point. Whereas this, uh, this is something that I'm going to keep around here at the desk. It's not something I'm going to put in my laptop case or anything like that, or even my pin case, most likely. I'm going to use this right here. And so my expectations are different. The cap thing becomes less of a problem, although still, it's uh, it would have been nice if it could post. The clip thing is not a deal breaker because here at the desk, it will be a roll stop and more than likely, if I have this here on my desk, it's going to be on some kind of a pin stand and not just lay in there anyway. So some of the little niggles I would have just here in my first impressions, uh, they're not really that important to the way I'm going to use this pin. You see what I'm saying? Because it's not intended to be for me anyway, an everyday carry pin by any means whatsoever. This is something for my collection that I'm going to enjoy its weirdness. I'm going to enjoy the unique design of it as I do in last year's pin, the year of the tiger pin. I enjoy that it's weird. I enjoy that it's a little quirky. Uh, I enjoy that it looks like something that is half decoration and not just a pin. So that's where I would put this. And in that regard, you know, uh, I think it's neat. I think it's very unique. I, I do like the uh, dynamics of the little jewel in that clip or roll stop. Uh, but, you know, overall, I think the clip is weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. That's just my first impression. I can be corrected uh, in the comments, as I'm sure someone will do. But overall, you know, I, I don't dislike it. It writes really nicely. So writing here at the desk, I like the heft. I like the balance. The feel is just fine. The ergonomics are fine. I like that piston mechanism. Although for me personally, I didn't necessarily need another pin with that same piston mechanism. I already have two and they work well. So it's going to come down to your personal taste and preference and maybe whether or not you just want to collect the year of pins from pin BBS. If you do want to do that, then, uh, you probably want to take a look at this pen while they're still able to be found. If you're not that much into the collecting, uh, then it come down, comes down to uh, how much does this design appeal to you? Because Pen BBS has tons of other pens with designs that might suit some people better and are going to write just as well. They make great pens. Uh, this one, for example, is one of those with a unique filling system. So what do you think? Is this is this for you? Is this a, a hard pass? I mean, no judgment from me. I hard pass the year of the ox pen, and, and I have no regrets about that. I've never gone back uh, and thought, you know, maybe I should have gotten one of those. And they're still around. I mean, you can still get them, so I couldn't have been the only one who thought that. But what do you think? Is this one you're going to rush out and get? Are you saving up for this one? Or are you thinking, you know what? I think the next year of might be more likely my year. What do you think? Share your impressions. I will say this. If you can get a bottle of this ink and you like blue blacks, they did a great job on this, and I really enjoy the number 223 ink. And you can find that review here on the channel up there in that upper right corner as well. And with that, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this video with somebody you think might find fountain pens interesting, strange, and unique. And God bless you, and have a great day.